Hello friends, this is Borvala Banto CPA from Cancer CPAs and this is Thursday, April 9th and this is our weekly update about where we are with the SBA loans, PPP loans, the financing and the stimulus packages that are going around, what is the lay of the land. So there is still a lot of confusion about where to apply for the SBA economic disaster loans, where to apply for the Paycheck Protection Program, the PPP. Some questions that we got were the people thought that they were uh, to be applied at the same place. Uh, please watch our last week's videos at this channel about the PPP and the SBA loans separately. But here's the recap. There is the idle economic disaster SBA loan and you apply for it at the sba.gov disaster. Very short application, only ask you for a couple of personal information and company information and two finance related questions. One is, what was your gross revenue for the 12 months ending January 31st, 2020? And what was your cost of goods sold, if any, for the same period? And that's it. And then you're gonna be contacted hopefully in a couple of weeks by loan officer. Now this is the loan where supposedly they give you an up to $10,000 advance to the loan, which a lot of people are just applying to get that or potentially get that. Uh, and the thing that people are hearing is like, you're gonna get that in three days. Now the guidance says that you're gonna get it in three days after your application lands at a, an SBA officer, loan officer's desk. Now, I have yet to hear that anybody got getting this $10,000. So we are thinking the wait is about three, four weeks to be contacted. And then you have to give them a bunch of other finance, financial related information and tax information. So you have about three, four weeks after applying to the SBA loan to get all that ready. If there was ever a time to have a CPA where all your records are straight and readily accessible in a PDF format online, this is the time. So make sure that, you know, uh, we ha have word that a lot of people who are not our clients watching this channel. So just wanted to let you know, please have your tax returns, personal and business ready for a couple of years back. You're going to need all the personal information. They're going to pull your credit. It's a lot of things that are going on uh, with the SBA loan. And usually there, it's very hard to get now obviously they, they are uh, changing that for this particular purpose, but still you're going to have to sh uh, show a lot of information, what you own personally, what liabilities do you have as for the business and personally, and a lot of other things. So be ready, but technically you are supposed to get this up to $10,000 advance uh, at some point, you know, earlier than, than the regular loan. Uh, I got questions from uh, not clients of ours, just people who are watching this channel about what if, can I turn down the loan? I just won the $10,000 advance. And technically, you know, nobody knows, technically you are applying for a loan. So, uh, and there's no even a, not even a, a box that you can enter, like how much you want the loan officer will uh, determine that based on all the application uh, materials. So technically you're not supposed to apply for it if you don't want the loan, if you just want the $10,000. I'm pretty sure there are you know, tens of thousands of people who are just want to get on the line. They are just trying, let's see if they can get something, especially if they have other um, liabilities that they can refinance with this. Although you do have to use it for like ongoing working capital. So that's about the SBA economic disaster loan that you go to the sba.gov slash disaster. Then let's talk about for a minute uh, about the PPP or Paycheck Protection Program. So this program the application started last uh, Friday, 3rd of April. Now there are kind of two different uh, types of banks, ones that have not got their act together and you cannot apply on their website yet. And the other ones are who got inundated with applications the first and the second day and they already closed down the applications. So you're supposed to go through your bank where you do have a banking relationship. Some banks said that you have to have a loan with them, but usually you go to where you bank. Now your bank most likely either doesn't accept applications anymore or already uh, or, or uh, already closed the applications like Wells Fargo, I think Huntington already closed the applications. Now, a lot of online uh, financial institutions and, and different uh, participants started uh, also you know, getting into the game. 
Intuit, the um, parent company of QuickBooks, said that they're going to start as of yesterday, Wednesday. I'm not sure if they started. And also, you know, other uh, organizations. Um, so please make sure that you reach out to your CPA and ask them. Like I, we started using an online um, a bank where we send our clients whose uh, bank, their own bank, does not accept the applications. So if you're interested, please uh, shoot us an email and we can share this information with you. Uh, I just did a couple of minutes ago an application on this website uh, with a client of mine and it was very easy. And I was on a webinar with them uh, yesterday and, and they said that they are getting their applications to the SBA. A lot of banks just getting the applications and they're not sending it to the SBA yet. So again, we don't know what's going to happen with the PPPs. Uh, supposedly, this is that loan that if you use it for payroll and up to 25% of it for rent and utilities, then it will be forgiven. So at the end of an eight weeks after you're funded. So it's not a lot of information that you need, although very tricky calculations for the average monthly payroll and how much the loan amount is, which is two and a half times of that. But a very important eight weeks will start as soon as you get funded, which if, if I asked some banks, they said should be about 30 to 45 days. Uh, the online bank said it should be between a week and 10 days. So again, there are big differences. Uh, things are changing by the hour with guidance is coming down from the SBA. So make sure that you work with somebody, work with CPA, you work with your business advisor on this. Uh, again, I just, I cannot be um, more certain that if you do not have a CPA that knows everything about your situation, business and personal, you, you have a very hard time to, to navigate this landscape. So uh, we are 24 seven, we are working to help our clients navigate this and help them fill it out online together, provide all the documentation, not just the checklist, but actually gathering the documentation of what you're gonna need to show your bank so that your PPP loan after eight weeks uh, after funding, it will be forgiven. So those are the two main things that are going on. The SBA loan, economic disaster loan, goes directly through the SBA and the PPP goes through a lender, a bank, somebody like an online bank, uh, somebody who does have relationship with the SBA, but you cannot go directly to the SBA. So you have to go through a, a third party uh, vendor for that. Um, other than these two things, uh, there is a, a great need to help businesses reorganize, help their employees either uh, with the un um, unemployment application or restructure the business and also to brainstorm other ways to change the business, change the marketing, change what they're providing uh, to their clients so they stay relevant and they stay in business. So please use your, your business advisors, your, your uh, CPAs, whoever advisory board uh, you have, whatever advisory board you have, so then you can stay relevant, you can stay active and, and be able to, to uh, sell services or um, uh, other stuff. So you stay relevant, stay in business. Everybody that uh, we follow, you know, ec economists, they say it's going to be a big shift in small businesses, especially uh, a lot of small businesses are, are going to die. They're not going to survive this new landscape. So we are working tirelessly. So our clients stay relevant. They stay in business. They can reinvent themselves. Uh, in a lot of cases, we do have to modify, you know, what they spend money on, how, where they cut, uh, what can they extend so they don't have to spend uh, cash on it. How can they reserve cash flow? That's a big thing now. So they can, you know, pay their people, pay them the main things and the inventory uh, and turn around in the next couple of months and also, you know, uh, on the later longer period. So make sure that you stay healthy, uh, you uh, stay safe, and also happy Passover and happy Easter to all of you and talk to you soon.